U.S. Air Force tests deadliest new laser weapon again. The U.S. Air Force Research Lab has begun building a pod-mounted laser weapon designed to keep friendly aircraft safe from enemy missiles, the Self-Protect High-Energy Laser Demonstrator or SHIELD. The pond is under construction at Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico. If successful one of SHIELD's descendants will protect older Air Force fighters' tankers and surveillance aircraft from missile attacks. The SHIELD pod which the Air Force worked on with Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, will consist of three major subsystems including the pod itself, the Laser and Beam Control Air Force Research Laboratory received the pod this month and the two remaining subsystems will arrive later this year. Ahead of putting experimental directed energy weapons onto its fighter jets, the U.S. Air Force is testing how these systems will operate at high speed and high altitude, by trialing them in wind tunnels equipping fighters with directed energy or the weapons which use high-energy lasers or microwaves to engage threats is a long-standing Air Force submission. But one that has suffered from some well-documented delays, the latest Wintel work may help address some of the problems encountered so far. Missiles dominate modern air-to-air -air combat aircraft are at risk from air-to-air -air and surface-to-air -air missiles. Both of which fly at Mach 2.5 in order to catch up to and intercept planes. These missiles fly too fast for conventional guns to reliably track and destroy them. Particularly since an outgoing projectile is subject to wind, gravity, and other factors. Lasers however are immune to many of the problems afflicting conventional guns, lasers don't fly a ballistic profile but rather travel at 186.000 miles per second in a perfectly straight line, an aircraft-mounted laser would also have an unlimited number of shots. The shield is a tech demonstrator meaning it will never see combat but if it's successful it will eventually lead to a pod-mounted laser for other U.S. Air Force aircraft, older fighters like the F-15 and F-16 could strap on laser pods for active protection for missiles. Meanwhile, transports like the C-17 Globemaster III tankers like the KC-135 Stratotanker and KC-46 Pegasus and even airborne warning and control planes like the E-3 Sentry could have the means to shoot down enemy missiles for the first time. The Air Force expects to conduct a full test of the SHIELD laser pod in 2023. Meanwhile, there has been some progress made by using a ground-based solid-state laser known as the Demonstrator Laser Weapon System, DLWS, as a surrogate for SHIELD. In this way, DLWS has proved its ability to shoot down a number of year-launched missiles over the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Although ground-based laser systems are generally more mature than their airborne counterparts it's worth noting that the DLWS is described as being in the tens of kilowatts class, while Lockheed Martin Martin has already delivered a 60 kilowatt class laser weapon system to the US Army.